Hey guys, Effie here. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card using our new Coming Up Peonies. So I'm going to do some stamping on watercolor paper, but I'm going to use our Caviar Hybrid ink to stamp this in a nice crisp black ink. And I'm using my original Misty to help me stamp this. Now I'm going to let you in on a little secret. You can basically use any ink if you want to do some clear heat embossing. I wanted the crisp black lines to show through, so any embossing powder will stick to the ink because it generally stays wet long enough for the powder to stick to. So after I stamped it with our caviar hybrid ink, I poured on some clear embossing powder and then I hit the whole panel with my heat tool. Now I'm going to do some wet and wet watercoloring using Ken Oliver Color Burst. I started off by painting this fully bloomed peony with some clean water first using a medium tip water brush. Then I took a fine tip brush and I dipped it into my marigold color burst and I added the pigment into the inner portions of my petals. And I kind of went in sections as I put a little bit of pigment into the inner corners of the petal. I took my medium tip brush and I blended that color out towards the edge of the petal. And I repeated this for each of the petals. As you can see, I started off with a nice light base layer. As the color was blended out towards the edges of the petals, it kind of created a lighter wash of color. Now, I really like intense bright colors in my florals. And the great thing about Color Burst is that you can achieve intense and vibrant looks with just the one pigment. So I go back and I added some more Marigold Color Burst. And after I was satisfied with the amount of concentrated Marigold, I went ahead and added some Peony Color Burst to some of my petals to add a two-tone look to some of those petals in the foreground. Now, after I blended a little bit of that peony out in some of the petals, I went ahead and added a third color to my petals. I used lemon yellow. So I get this really pretty three-tone peony in my project today. Next, I'm just going to repeat the process for the larger peony. I'm sorry, not the larger. This is a smaller peony. So I wet the entire area of this smaller peony with clean water and then I dropped in a little bit of marigold to the inner portions of my petals. After I blended some of that marigold out, I added a little bit of peony to some of the petals and I actually uh, add some lemon yellow to this bloom as well. For the three smaller buds in this uh, coming up peonies cluster, I only use the marigold and the peony because they were smaller images and I just didn't think that I had enough room to add the third lemon yellow pigment to the surface area of these smaller buds. I apologize for the sound quality in this video. I know it sounds a little bit tinny and that's because I'm just using the microphone that's on my computer and I usually use my headphones and I cannot find them today. So I apologize for the quality today. I promise that with my next video, I will have better quality sound. So once I finish coloring in the buds, I'm just gonna go ahead and color in all of the stems and leaves using Lime Color Burst. After I add in a little bit of the lime, you can see that some of the pigment is going out of the lines, kind of a, in a crazy fashion, but not to worry because I will be die cutting this out so you're not really gonna notice the outside of the line coloring here. After I added a little bit of lime to my leaves, I also added some Naples yellow. This yellow shade has a tint of green to it, so I really love adding it to my foliage when I paint. So next I dried my panel and then I die cut this beautiful cluster using the coordinating die. And at this point, I saw that the leaves were a little too light and there wasn't enough shading. So I went ahead and added some Prussian blue to the inner portions of my leaves to give the leaves and the stems a little bit more dimension. The reason why I use Prussian blue is because I wanted to give 
my foliage a little bit more depth and I find that if I add the Prussian blue to my greens there's more depth of color because you can see that this dark shade in the leaves is kind of a blue but then it blends into the green and there's just so much interest going on then let's say if I use another darker green or uh, the lime to add the concentrated color so I like to mix it up a bit there's nothing wrong with just adding a deeper concentration of lime if that's all you had but I kind of felt like playing here so that's why I added that Prussian blue and also, if you're curious about my palette setup, I'm going to leave a link in the description box below where I walk through how I set up my Colorburst watercolor palette. So next, I just set my cluster side to dry and then I took our fresh linen background stamp and I inked it up with some of our Crystal Pewter dye ink, which is a really beautiful light gray ink. I, after I inked it up, I placed an A2 size white piece of cardstock over the stamp and then I used my Speedball Baron tool to help me get a nice crisp impression. And then I had this leftover border piece uh, which I created from another project. This border piece was created using the second largest die from our double stitch rectangles large die collection. So it was a piece that I had left over that I'm using for this project. After I popped it up onto the fresh linen piece, I stamped my sentiment and then I popped up my peony cluster. Next, I just added some gold medallion sequins to complete my card. What I didn't do on camera was add this to a card base, but you can just easily do that uh, by adhering this onto any base. So once I finish adhering my sequins, my card is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed today's project and video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because I update it on a weekly basis. As always, thank you so much for stopping by. I'll see you next time.